Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is the eighth video in the set of videos that shows you how I put together a field package for a field work on a simple topo survey. And so in this last video, I wanted to show you the actual physical binder that I send out with the field crew on a, a, a small topo survey like this. So every time we send the crew out uh, to a job, for a field survey, they take a binder with them, just a three ring binder. In the front cover of the binder, we've got a sheet with the job number and the name of the job and then the date that the package was put together. That goes here on the cover. Okay, then when you open this up, we have a standard set of tabs here with some dividers. And these tabs will change depending on what we're doing, but they're, they're uh, standard tabs across jobs. So all the topos have the same tabs, all the boundary surveys have the same tabs. All the scanning projects have the same tabs. Okay, And some of the tabs are common across jobs as well. So always the very first tab is the exhibits tab. And when you open that, you'll have the exhibits for the job. So in this case, we have the topo survey plan that we prepared before. Okay, And I'm not going to go over that in detail because the, the first seven videos cover uh, creating this plan in Inkscape and that that's also uh, true for the second sheet of the plan here on this oblique aerial view. So that goes in the exhibits folder. Okay. Now we didn't have any as built on this particular topo but if there's as built they'd also go in the exhibit folder. The next tab is the setup tab and that again is a tab that's common to every job. And so in the setup tab we have the field note cover sheet. This is just some general information that the crew fills out job number, job name, who's the chief, who's the chain, and the date, the instruments that they're using. And then right here I have what's called a survey timeline. This is just a simple timeline that the crew gives me that kind of walks me through what they did on the site. That just helps when I'm uh, trying to interpret the notes or look at their raw data. Okay, the second page in the setup section goes over the coordinate reference system that the crew has set up in their data collector. I always want them to think about that. Are they ground? Are they grid? What zone are they working in? Have they done a calibration? How did they apply that calibration in their equipment or data collector? So all that information is here. gets filled out by the crew. Okay. The next section is control. Again, this is a section we have on almost every job. So the first thing you have there is some check sheets. And this is for when you have existing control on the job. You go out to the job. And the very first thing you're supposed to do is get set up and check your control. So those checks go here. Then I have a couple different sheets. This is for control by RTK, RTN. Uh, this is for control, set control by Traverse with the total station. And then I'll have it in this particular job because we're not doing static. But if we do fast static, we have sheets for fast static observations in here as well. Now this is just the information on the method used to set the control. Okay, so for example, if you're doing a traverse, point number HI, your angles, back sights, rod heights, instrument heights, angles. Okay. Then for every control point you set, you fill out this sheet here. This is the control point sheet. Point number, description, what you set, where is it at, what kind of control is it, what method did you use, and any comments you have. Okay, that's everything in the control section. In this job, we're doing a simple topo, so we have a topo tab. This has a sheet for topo by RTK, RTN. Just some basic information from the crew, when they change rod heights, they're starting in any point numbers for their series of points. So we have some for RTK, and then we also have some for total station. Similar setup, a little bit different. Okay, and on these, we include their horizontal and vertical checks, their backside checks, start and end. Okay. The last section is the cleanup tab. Okay, and this is typical. Every job gets a cleanup tab, and that just has two checklists in it. This is the end of the field survey, the daily checklist. So these are things you're supposed to do every day before you leave the site, even if you're going back the next day. And this is the final checklist for the last field survey on the job. These are all the things that I want the crew to do before they leave the site. Okay. So this all comes back in this binder gets scanned to PDF, stored in the job folder, and this binder gets shelved. So that is the physical part of the field package that goes out with the crew. Okay, so thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. 
and we'll do some more videos on uh, field packages for some different types of surveys.